Jackson County veterans are upset after someone vandalized a park by damaging dozens of small American flags. And we said it didn't happen just once, but repeatedly over the Memorial Day holiday weekend. So thanks for joining us here tonight live at 5. I'm Molly Grantham. And I'm John Carter. Jamie Bull has the night off. The flags were damaged at the Patriots Flag Concourse and Memorial in Salisbury. And WBTV's David Wilson is there live. So, David, uh, what are police saying about this now? John, police are investigating this. In fact, they came back out here while I was here just about 30 minutes ago. They are considering this to be damage to property and vandalism, but local veterans are considering this to be a disgrace. These are mine. That's the Vietnam Monument. Look, they're broken. Look at these flags. Look, they just snapped them off. It's a local tradition now desecrated, according to one veteran. We do that every year as a tribute to our veterans. These pictures from past years show how hundreds of flags are placed in a Salisbury Park every year prior to Memorial Day. We enlisted the Boy Scouts and the veterans to come to the Salisbury City Park, to the Patriots Flag Concourse, and we put out, I would estimate, up to a thousand American flags all around the concourse. But Vietnam veteran Ronnie Smith was very upset on Friday when he drove by the park and saw flags vandalized. He cleaned up the mess, but then it happened again and again. After I'd already repaired the flags twice, there were over a hundred torn down, scattered all over the park. Some in mud, laying on the ground, soaking wet. Sticks were broken. Uh, the flags had been pulled off the, uh, the, the, the flag poles they were on. I wanted to cry. And this morning, I found 45 more damaged flags that Ronnie wasn't even aware See, of yet. That one's broken. It really hurts me to have seen that happen. Police are investigating, but they say as of now, they don't know who's responsible for the mess. Smith says the fact that someone would do this as him questioning whether the scouts and veterans will continue this tradition. We'll have to consider whether we ever want to do this again at the Salisbury City Park. They're all busted. They're all damaged. I'll never understand why anybody would want to do that. There's, there's one yeah, a lot of folks I've spoken to today are having a hard time understanding that. But again, I said police came back about 30 minutes ago. That was their second trip here today. Again, no arrests to announce, but they are working on several leads. Reporting live in Salisbury, David Wisnett, WBTV, on your side. You can hear the sincere passion and emotion in his voice. David Wisnett, live for us tonight. Thank you. John.